the world is responding to an unprecedented health emergency right now. And, and firstly, I'd like to extend my uh, respect and gratitude really to those dealing with this on the front line. Um, that said, the business consequences of this could also be profound. So responding with agility um, and dynamism is really important. Um, we set up our business continuity committee back in February to respond to this. Um, and as a global business, we've really been tracking and implementing the guidance of authorities and governments from around the world um, to keep operating in all of our sites as we do. Obviously, with social distancing measures implemented. So um, I would always describe IQE sites as being of a low people intensity anyway. Um, but what we've done is we've really restricted the number of people on site to those that are essential to production which means that anyone who can work from home is. Uh, we've implemented things like additional cleaning regimes and shift segregation patterns as well to keep our people safe and help prevent the spread of the virus. So as of today, the 6th of April, um, there are no uh, disruptions to the business, which is great news. Um, and that's both the case at IQE and also our suppliers and customers. Um, IQE is classed by many governments around the world as a critical supplier within the overall um, telecommunications um, infrastructure industry. So um, we do think that that will give us some protection to, uh, to keep producing even during uh, the lockdown situations that we're seeing in, in many parts of the world. And, and of course, right now, we're all using our mobile devices and communications infrastructure and relying on them more than ever. There's a lot of uncertainty right now, and, and that's really why IQE has removed its guidance uh, for the full year. Um, there is the risk of potential disruption, either at one of our production sites or, or one of our suppliers or customers. Um, but barring that, we actually expect um, you know, revenue to the half year to be good. Uh, beyond that, um, it's really difficult to say. Um, we do expect that there'll be economic consequences of the current situation. And that clearly will affect many businesses. But it's certainly true to say that the mobile communications industry could stand up better than most because of the uh, dependency that we all have whilst we're working at home, self-isolating, social distancing and, and so on. And we also think that as governments emerge from this crisis, there will be a need to provide stimulus to drive econ economic recovery. And we certainly think that um, 5G infrastructure rollout will be a key part of government's plans. And that, of course, will be a positive demand driver for IQE. IQE is well placed to withstand the current uncertainty that we see. Um, our Q1 trading position has actually reduced um, our net debt versus the, the year end at the end of December. Um, and we're managing our working capital tightly. Um, our capital spend um, on tangible assets will come right down in 2020. And that's because in 2019, we reached the natural conclusion of our uh, capacity expansion. Uh, um, and that was in our Newport foundry um, in Taiwan and in Massachusetts. So naturally, we'll spend less in 2020 on our capital, and that will put us in a stronger cash flow position. Um, now, if we need it in the downside scenario, we do have also a material credit line um, with a trusted bank that we can draw upon if required. QE will continue to invest in research and development. Um, that's really important to us as a business and our future success. We're bringing to market some really exciting future products in uh, sensing technologies and in communications technologies for 5G. So it's really important that we keep that roadmap going during this uncertain period. Um, we really think that technology will be a key driver for the economic recovery after this crisis. Communication is really key at the moment. You can't over communicate with your staff right now. Um, at IQE, our people are genuinely our most important assets. And it's uh, you know, quite right that people may be feeling concerned or anxious right now. So we're adapting new, to new ways of working. 
Um, and we're in a constant state of readiness, really, to respond to this, this dynamic and fast-moving situation um, as it evolves. So we've really upped our communications with our staff. Um, we're using all forms of media to do that, to really make sure that we reach out to every single one of our global employees, um, but also so that we stay connected during this time.